another day, another crossover. Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, it's a 2016.5 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. <laughs> said another day another crossover and to be honest and it's nothing against this vehicle it's really hard to get excited about these things or even hard to be interested in them they all do pretty much the same thing at about the same level some of course do it better than others and you know refinements personal taste things like that now with this Mazda CX-5 it's fine it's good um, no real issues with it other than the infotainment system. But that's an ongoing thing about Mazdas with us, right? Um, we talked about it recently in the CX-9, we've had CX-3s, uh, Mazda 3s and 6s and whatever, and it's just, the system is slow, the interface is not the best. And it's just a thing. Now, are we used to it? You know, kind of getting the hang of it after about six or seven of these things but that again that really shouldn't be a thing right it should be intuitive because no one rtfs them no matter how many uh short bus riders who comment on your youtube comments say well you should read the manual no one reads the manual you jackass all right get, get over yourself no one reads the manual the idea behind our reviews in case you didn't know is we call these real world reviews because we view these things and we drive these things as normal people would and normal people don't read the manual they get in they plug in and everything should just work as is for good or for bad but that's the reality of life and that's what we operate in reality so um in the week that we've had this this is a, i think the first day that the high has been like above the teens it's uh 28 degrees today which is you know about 10 degrees higher than what it has been uh we've had a bunch of snow more snow and um you know it's been fine this is all-wheel drive it's on reasonable tires it's it's you know it does what it needs to do uh no dramas it definitely can tell that this is a front-wheel drive based vehicle um you kind of got to get them slipping and moving a little bit and then you can feel the uh system kick to the rear wheels and then you you drive on but no dramas acceleration's fine uh braking is good abs worked fine on some crappy roads including our street all in all it just does what you want it to do on the interior here it's fine um this one stickers out since we're at a stoplight and all you idiots can stop complaining oh you're reading and driving no i'm at a stoplight so thirty-four thousand one eighty-five for this vehicle pretty much fully kitted out uh you know sunroof small sunroof but that's sort of a mazda thing the hatch space seems to be pretty good back seat room is a little tight um the passenger seat as it sits right now is back most of the way although not all the way and uh, as we were shooting some photos tried to slide in from that side and it was pretty tight now as this seat is adjusted for me at 510 i can get in and out of the uh, the other side okay you know there's not a ton of room but it's fine so no magic uh, opening here on this no auto open on the key fob and in the cold, if you run it through the car wash, you're SOL. Fuel economy on this is rated uh, 24 city, 30 highway, 26 combined. Given that we've done mostly surface streets and it's been really crappy stop and go, uh, looking at some just average things as we're driving, we'd say that those that's close to, uh, to being spot on 
uh, a little lower, but some of that has to do with, again, how we've been driving it and how we've had to drive it. And in Michigan, we have some really bad winter gas that usually kills two to three miles to the gallon uh, off fuel economy if you're just driving, driving. If you pay attention, you can kind of get back to what the EPA says, but well, it, it's fine. So why should you buy the Mazda CX-5 over anything else in this category? Because there's about 14 choices. And I mean, literally, in the United States, there are about 14 different choices in this category. Um, are the driving dynamics better than anyone else? I don't know because, again, it's been cold and snowy and there's not exactly canyon roads to go bomb on. Not exactly like we can take this to a racetrack or even some back roads that have some twists and turns. Uh, with the weather and the roads as they are, you're not going to be doing that. But as far as daily driving, riding, ride, not bad. Uh, the interior noise is a little high, to be honest with you. It, there is just general noise, uh, more so than other vehicles in its class. If that bothers you, great. And if it doesn't, great. Uh, you know, it's good. It's better than average. <laughs> This, like most Mazdas, has a sport mode. In the CX-9, it was it worked it worked fairly well. In the CX-5, we have an issue with it. Um, in the standard driving modes, this thing upshifts very quickly. To the point, if you're cruising down a road at 35, 40 miles an hour, you're in uh, its top gear, and there is actually a drone, like the the drone you'd get from a four-cylinder performance car with you know one of the fart can exhausts it has that kind of drone so all right well let's flip it up into sport and have a little more rpm well the problem is in sport mode it doesn't like to release gears that same road if you're in sport rather than turning 2000 rpm and sixth gear uh it's whatever gear it's in at that point it's turning like three and a half and four thousand rpm which is a little obnoxious as you're just kind of cruising around through traffic and then you try to play with the throttle settings to to get it to change a little bit nah just just doesn't want to so sport mode i guess if you're hauling you know hauling mail and and going after it it's probably good but as a way to sort of defeat um the quick upshift programming in this to maximize fuel economy it doesn't work so well so we mentioned the audio system in here uh, the interface itself, eh, you know, we've got we've got the same feelings on all of it that we like we mentioned we always do. The actual sound coming out of it, not that bad. Um, this is a Bose system, and given our affinity or therefore lack of for Bose systems, this one isn't too bad. Uh, it's actually been tuned to uh, sound reasonable, not like uh, everything in the mids and nothing above and below. Uh, there is some presence to the sound that said it doesn't read all of the audio codecs so for example we had some wave files for a uh, peter gabriel album that we had downloaded which was a flight you know flack yeah well they didn't have it in flack they had it as wave this couldn't read it uh, it couldn't read an mp4 file like you know say an itunes mp4 file for audio couldn't do that. MP3, yes, that's about it. And in this day and age, it's a bit of a problem. So overall, what do we think of the Mazda CX-5? Well, as a family truckster, it's fine. Uh, if you like Mazdas, you'll like this. If you like something that has some riding and driving dynamics, you're gonna like this. In general, it's good but it doesn't do anything to stand out in a very crowded market space. It's just good, not exceptional. And in this day and age where everyone is competing uh, on price, essentially, uh, what's the deal of the day? You know, 0% financing for X amount of years or what's your lease deal and this doesn't come away with anything that says it should stick out uh, if you're just price shopping. You have to specifically be looking for this vehicle to buy it, I think. 
And therein lies the problem. It does nothing to stand out. And it should, but it doesn't. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. You'll see the stuff going on around here that YouTube lets us do now. Click on that and uh, give us your feedback. We'll see you next time here on rumblestrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive.